Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewidenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, along with Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. And coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, TuneIn, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the king of all festivals. He's owned not just several radio stations, but a lot of radio stations, and he'll tell you about that. He's a great interviewer, motivational speaker, and, of course, owner of several radio stations. He's the founder of Talk for Media, Pipe Man Productions, and one of them is the top-ranked uh, Jimmy and Ron Russell show. We'll talk about that, and, and he's just a lot of things. Adventure Pipe Man, Pipe Man in the Pit, Pipe Man's Power of Music, Positivity Pipe Man. <laughs> Can you say this 10 times fast? And he was putting me up to the challenge with this earlier. And I think we'll have a contest afterwards. But live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studio, somewhere in the United States, ladies and gentlemen, the king of all festivals, interviewer, motivational speaker, and owner of many great radio stations, Dean the Pipe Man Piper. Dean, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you. And I got to tell you, I'm already sold on uh, everything you said so far just because of your voice. Really? That is amazing. I think I'm just about sold on you. It's like, you know, before talking as well. So, I mean, you've done a lot. I mean, you're basically an inter interviewer, motivational speaker, owner of several radio stations, and you've got a lot. Eventually, as a pipe man, I've got um, also, I got right here too, looking here, the connected table in your face. Let's just talk. Pipe Man Radio, Pipe Man the Pit, Organic Health Lifestyle. I mean, just a plethora. And not only you're the owner of the, all these radio stations, you're giving people the opportunity to be on the show, whether as a guest or having their own show and whatever else. I mean, you just got a great story to tell. And before we do all that, tell us how you first got started, Dean. Well, you know, it's funny because I don't even come from this business, but I do come from being very passionate about the things in this business, which is, you know, talk and music. Like I'm passionate about both. I, you know, I started listening to people like Tony Robbins and Zig Ziglar when I was 11 years old. I was in a, a metal scene very heavily in the eighties in, in LA around the Sunset Strip. But, uh, you know, in young adulthood, I took a different path that it's kind of funny. Everything just came full circle because I was uh, very big in the investment business. Uh, I owned several brokerage firms and I used to actually pay to do a radio show just to get leads for my business. And that was really, that was really the way I got into radio, which is not the way people get into radio. That's your, you know, that's the other side of the fence. So that, that sets me apart. Like I, I know what it's like to be on both sides of the fence. Mm -hmm. And then, through that, you know, I was always, you know, a motivational type of person, not, you know, just in my life. And, you know, my dad used to have this line, if 50 people tell you you're drunk, lie down. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> there you go. And, and it's good advice because what happened was I had a love-hate relationship with the investment business. I loved the money, loved the action, hated everything else. Mm-hmm. And everybody I ever encountered in that business used to say to me, you should be a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. So I followed my dad's advice one day. And when I got to 50 people telling me I was drunk, I handed the keys to one of the brokers that worked for me and said, I'm done here. It's your firm now. I'm, I'm going to go be a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. And there was the next segue into radio because I was still doing radio shows, but now I was paying to do radio shows to promote my seminars, to promote my positive message, you know, and, and just basically, you know, empower the world. The thing that I noticed, and you know, I'm all about opportunities, you know, we're going through a pandemic right now. There's bad, 
but there's also opportunities too. And I think there's people that are going to come out of this pandemic, you know, with their lives changed for the better, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't really know it when you're in it. it. It just comes. So that's what happened to me is basically I went through like one of the worst times of my life. Um, you know, divorce, all that fun stuff. And then, uh, you know, I was doing this radio show on an internet radio station like 15 years ago when it, you know, was really in its severe infancy. There wasn't even, the word podcast didn't even exist yet in the English language. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was used to going to these fancy studios at real radio stations in New York and stuff. And I was in this guy's studio and it was kind of a schlock operation to speak in my language, you know, it, it was, <laughs> it, it was, you know, I was in the a guy's lip and dining room at the dining room table. And that's what he's calling this studio. And <laughs> the dog's coming up to me, the cat's on the studio table. And I'm like, yeah, this isn't what I envisioned radio to be. But what I did envision was, internet radio were, is, was where it was all going. And every, you know, there were so many things I was saying, but coming from the professional type of investment business, you know, one thing I knew is the only way internet radio would survive and become the mainstream is if you ran it like a real radio station. You That's know, true. just because you can do something from your dining room, doesn't mean you should mm -hmm. like, and you know, I didn't even want to bring guests there. So like who wants to bring a get when you bring a guest into a radio studio, it's to impress them, you know? So if you're bringing them to somebody's dining room table, I don't know. It's not that impressive, <laughs> but you got to start somewhere. That's the thing. I mean, look at, look at this right here. It's just like, this is just ordinary to be honest with you. I mean, with internet yeah. podcasting, it's like you can broadcast anywhere from where you're at. I've had people do it from their car from, um, a hotel room and I think I um, and and and, uh, and and there was someone I had on there that had maybe like you know 20 cats and dogs that's just surrounding them. It, was just, <laughs> it was amazing I mean almost like you know it's time for the pet radio hour <laughs> yeah we, well we have that too because we do have pet shows so it's like funny the guests that come on the pet shows that you know the dogs barking in the background maybe the dog and the cat are chasing each other and <laughs> you know it, it then becomes an informative, but also uh, a, you know, an entertaining show. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the modern day Tom and Jerry. Right. Exa exactly. Yeah. And of course, you know, our guests spent most of the time just talking about their dogs, their cats, or even their kids walk in. I just say, you know, you know, before we uh, answer this or talk about that, let's bring your special guest. You know, back in the day, people got mad, but now it's really good entertainment value. And there was one time I did a Facebook Live and my cat, Taylor, jumped in front of me and started just nuzzling and licking everything else. <laughs> and guess who got the likes, most likes and comments? Of course. Yes. <laughs> and uh, that's how I discovered that spontaneity like that just works out just great too. Better for your ratings and um, better for listeners and um, more revenue coming in. It's funny you should say that because I, I've said that all the time. I say that to my show hosts that do shows. You know, like you got to just be real. You know, it, to me, the entertainment of radio is that it's real. It's one thing I've always found, like as a motivational speaker, I don't generally like to have motivational speakers on my radio show. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is, is they get on and they get in the zone and they think they're doing a seminar. People go to a seminar for a seminar and they don't tune into the radio for a seminar. Right. They, they want to get informed, they want to get educated, but they want to get entertained as well. And I tell people, it's like, you know, people tune into radio and get entertained. It doesn't mean you have to do this whole dog and pony show. It just means make it engaging, make it something where people are having fun. Mm -hmm. You know, I interview a lot of rock stars. I've done like over 2000 interviews with different music artists and stuff. And the same thing I always get at the end, and the end of the interview that makes me feel so great and I did my job is they're like, that was fun. Because I think about it from their perspective, like that's gotta be the worst part of the job. You know, I mean, you're, up there, you're playing music, you're doing it, 
like who wants to sit down and do some professional like uh, scripted interview and that's what usually happens you see a lot of press people they got their notes there and they're like and so how did you get your band name and right. like they didn't hear that two million times <laughs> you know? and it's almost like they're, they're tired of the uh the same questions over and over and one of the guests i had on where the big challenge is is that what question have you never asked a guest or rephrase it in a very creative way so that's a challenge of anything as well. And of course, you know, like you said, you read notes and everything. I have people do that too. It's like, it's not conversation at all. You're right. If you're reading off a script, I say, you know what? Get a 16 year old to do it. I mean, seriously. Well, yeah. And you know what too, if you're a pro, okay. So that could kind of inhibit you because like when I go and do festivals, when Vans Warped Tour was going on, I would literally sit there in a trailer for four hours and they would just bring me one band after another, no break in between. You can't study for that when you're doing tomorrow. Like I have 13 interviews tomorrow. Wow. You know, right after another, you can't really study for that and be scripted and nor should you, you know, I believe the interview takes a life of its own and if you're not focused on the question, you can be focused on the answer. And the answer is what creates the great interview. Mm -hmm. and, and, rightfully, and rightfully so as well, too. And, of course, we'll talk about uh, some of the radio stations you've owned and also some of your other projects. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, along with 25 podcast platforms, including Amazon, Audible, Apple, SoundCloud, as well as um, Buzzsprout, Podbean, tuned in, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the king of all festivals, interviewer, motivational speaker, and owner of several radio stations, which is 70 times 7 here on the Mike Wagner Show. And you're also founder of Talk4 Media, Pipe Man Productions. And I'm going to do this very fast and see how you do. We have the Adventures of the Pipe Man, Pipe Man in the Pit, Pipe Man's Power of Music, and Positively Pipe Man and the Power of Pipe Man. Whew, that's a fucking mouthful. <laughs> well, you have to pra practice the Peter Piper poem to be able to do that. <laughs> and, and of course, we get before you talk about some of your great shows as well, too. And we were talking about some of the festivals, and you've been in concerts and press coverage, red carpets, and everything. And um, maybe some of the more memorable moments that you had when it comes to these festivals, and maybe something that just stood out that was heartwarming. Maybe some of those just outright hilarious it's almost like a comedy of some sorts well i gotta tell you my most memorable moment is actually having to and being able to be at a festival because mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't have them this year I, I was talking about before that so before uh, the pandemic hit yeah yeah no that's why i was just joking around because <laughs> you know, it, it, it i you know, I was in Costa Rica in March, and then I came back to, in the beginning of March, and I came back to Florida, and we got locked down a week later. But the interesting thing was, is I had about 50 festivals, concerts, and events that I had uh, on the schedule that I was getting ready for, which is why I was taking a little break in Costa Rica, and little did I know, I would have a break for the rest of the year. It's, it's almost like a, a forced vacation in some respects. Mm -hmm. that, that's the good news. The bad news is it's a forced vacation in some respects. But yeah, I mean, basically, and going back to your original thing is, that's what started me in radio is I saw the opportunity that was happening with podcasting, internet radio, when there wasn't even word podcasting. I told people about podcasting, they thought I was nuts. I told people about, you know, internet radio and cars, they thought I was nuts. You know, I kind of viewed it as like Bill Gates and IBM. Bill Gates went to IBM and said, hey, I see a PC in every home. And they're like, you're nuts. The mainframe will never go away. And we know how that ended. Well, fast forward 13, 14 years later, here we are. You know, 
listening to radio on our phones, listening to radio in our cars, you know, and, and all that. And, you know, one thing I pride myself is setting up studios are just like an AM FM studio, like real radio. We do, you know, we have real studios, real engineers, state-of-the-art equipment, you know. Uh, I mean, my mixer board is bigger than the table I'm sitting at right now. Uh, and, you know, I, and then the other part of it is having that presence. And, you know, you've been in radio a long time. You know, you can't have a radio station without doing remote live broadcasts and without being out there. And so that's kind of what led that is initially I was doing events everywhere and broadcasting live at all these different events. And then it was just a natural transition into doing music festivals and concerts and doing press coverage. And, you know, I do press coverage for even the radio events. It's kind of, it's kind of unreal. Like, you know, you have NAB, which I'm sure you're familiar with, and you have NAM, and you have a radio show and, and podcast movement. I do press coverage for all these events. So it, it is kind of surreal, too, to go from coming into this business as an outsider, and now I'm reporting on the business itself. <laughs> and that's something as well, too. And you've got, um, you know, Talk for Media, Pipe Man Productions, and I'm, I'm reading this number here. 206 countries and all U.S. states. And I'm like, mind-blowing. So you can just talk about the talk for media as well, too, and some of your great radio stations, W4CY, W4WN, W4CS, W4PET, W4HC. It's almost sounds like ham radio. And I remember listening to ham radio. So CQ, CQ, CQ. And here I am talking ham radio with these stations right here. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know what's funny about that? is I got a call several years ago that apparently there's a ham radio station that was W4CY, little did I know. And so they call me up complaining because I had their website. Well, I didn't have their website. They just never bothered to get one. <laughs> and, you know, they're telling me I have to take my website down, take my radio station down. I'm like, listen, I have it trademarked. I have it copywritten. I'm doing it. I'm registered. You know, I, I'm licensed with ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, Sound Exchange. I don't know why I have to take it down. And they tried a couple times, and here I am later and still have it. So it's pretty funny. They were, confu you know, they were upset that my internet radio station, I guess, stole their ham station. I, I don't know. But <laughs> that wasn't the intent, for sure. Uh, but it's funny that you should mention the ham radio. And, you know, and... I mean, what happened is, it's funny, you mentioned the 206 countries and it flashes me back to, I, I kept counting, like I was, it was 10 countries, then it was 13, then it was 25. Then, and you know, it's funny, one of the shows on my station, the Jimmy Starr Show, uh, Jimmy Starr has been on my network for 13 years and he was part of that. When I would always send out an email, oh, now we're in this many countries and now we're in this many countries. And just the evolution of how it happened and with, with the radio stations, like you mentioned all these radio stations. Well, I started with one, W4CY Radio was the original one. And the reason I called it W4CY Radio is because I was looking up for a domain name that had four letters, like a radio letters, and there were none. So I was like, at the time I had a marketing company and when I was doing my MBA in marketing, they were uh, teaching that the four Ps are no longer the mantra in marketing, it's the four Cs. So I had this marketing company called 4C Marketing Group before I did the radio stations. And so I'm like, ah, eh, you know, for kind of craps and giggles, I decided, let me check for doing W4CY, I had this whole thing. And it was, it, the dot com was available, so I bought it. So that's how that started. But then, as I'm doing all these different topics, some topics became more popular than others, and that's what formed the other radio stations. So, like, one of them is W4WN, which is the Women for Women Network. Uh, had a lot of women empowerment shows, and I had somebody that was doing a show on my station and said, listen, I think you should set up an all women station. You'd get a lot of people that would want to do shows on that. And so I listened and it actually turned out to be one of my biggest stations. Wow. Uh, and, and then 
the, there's a, I was dealing with somebody that dealt in the cancer community and I did a lot with health and wellness and I'm a big believer in a lot of, a lot of things in health and wellness that should be given out there to, to the public. And uh, so I had somebody who was very involved in the cancer and caregiving community and they're like, you know what? There isn't any radio station that's just a cancer station. Mm. We should start a cancer station so that we can give awareness, help, support to all cancer caregivers or families and everything else. So that formed W4CS Radio, which is our the Cancer Support Network. And then from that, we just expand even more into health and wellness with W4HC, which is uh, the uh, Health Cafe Live. It's a, our health and wellness network. Then, you know, I started invading the West Coast because that's another thing. I'm internet radio, but I have multiple locations. And everybody's like, well, why do you have multiple locations? You're internet radio. Again, going back to my philosophy, the look and feel of a real radio station, you still have to have the local markets for the local people. So I decided to invade LA, and that's where K4HD Radio, my other radio station, uh, formed because, of course, the West Coast, as you know, being in the business, has to be K. So I <laughs> came up with the K. -1. And you know, these are all the radio stations under the under the umbrella of the Talk Four Media Corporation. Uh, but we also do so much more. We do marketing. We do production. Uh, you know, of you know. Uh, assets for radio shows, you know, production of TV shows, production of podcasts, production of radio shows, uh, events, all this stuff. So it, we're basically like that one-stop shop for everything media and marketing, basically. And we started as marketing. So it's not like, hey, we just decided to do some marketing. You know, it, it's like, it all does go hand in hand. As you know, you've been in the business a long time. You know, radio and marketing are two words that are always said together. Mm -hmm. and, and promotion as well, too. And also yes. presentation and, I mean, just about everything. I mean, positively Pipe Man, the power of Pipe Man, and, um, you know, just a lot of positive stuff. You know, Pipe Man, power of music, Pipe Man, the pip. But not only that, but you also have um, Pipe Man's Monopoly Zero Nair, if I got that right. I'm looking at the website. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so that was a light And, um... What else? Let's just talk in your face, a connected table, epic love, and Dr. J today, control chaos. And, um, it, you know, now that you have all those shows, you also give uh, people the opportunity to have their own radio show. Or if they want to be a guest, that's fine, too. It's not like where everything's all yours. You're allowing people to uh, have their own radio show on your network. And for those um, out there listening that say, hey, I want to have my own radio show, tell everybody how can they have their own radio show on your network well see here's the thing too okay so as i was saying before i come from the other side so i've always run my radio station from a host perspective instead of a radio station owner perspective i always found that when i was hosting radio shows on other stations there were things i would have wanted and so that's what i give to my and the people that do a show on our station i customize it's not cookie card and cutter. It's not die, live and die by the rate card. Let's find out what your purpose is, what your goals are, and customize something that fits all that. So we give people the opportunity where they could host their own live radio show that has listeners in every country in the world, every state in the United States, we're professionally engineered. It's professionally engineered. You're not doing it DIY. We also do the podcasting. So if you want to just do a podcast, you can do that as well. We also do both. You could have both. Most of ours do both. I think you can't have one without the other. And right. then we also have a, a TV station. So we do live internet TV. And, uh, you know, so you could have your TV, your radio. Uh, I developed over the years because of my reputation, a, uh, a partnership with iHeartRadio, with Spotify, Pandora. Recently, Amazon Music just launched. We have a partnership with and soon to be Audible is gonna be launching podcasts. So we not only produce it, we not only broadcast it, but we distribute it and we create shows for our people on all these outlets and distribute to over a hundred other outlets. So basically people's show can be heard anywhere you can hear podcasts. And then of course on our live radio station. And then we promote it, we market it and all, all that. So basically if they were to reach out to me, you know, we don't want to make this an infomercial, you know, so they, they want to reach out to me and they, 
they think they might want to have a radio show or might not, you know, just looking, you know, thinking about it, or they want to be a guest on a show, or they want to make a podcast, or they need marketing, anything like that. They can give me a call, number one, at 561-506-4031. Or they could also email me, Dean, D-E-A-N, at talkformedia.com. That's T-A-L-K, the number four, M-E-D-I-A.com. You can also catch me everywhere on social media as Pipe Man Radio. That's my handle on all social media everywhere. I'm everywhere, you know. So if there's a pipe man radio, you're going to find me. <laughs> and, and definitely so too. Of course you talked about, um, you know, having back a long time ago, you know, ha- having a radio show on your computer, listening to all media on your phone. And um, you know, one day it could be on, on the wristwatch like Dick Tracy back in the day. It's like everything on a wristwatch with Dick. Oh, Tracy. And I just we can about- listen right now. We can listen right now on my Apple watch. Yes, that's right. I just remember that, you know, Fitbit and everything else. And, uh, and, and why don't you just type in the Mike Wagner show and go to anything like, you know, you know, you know Spotify, iHeart, or, um, or say with uh, iTunes, Apple, you know, type it in and, um, you know, just show it okay. up. I, I think that's like a great advertising tool. I love that. And uh, hey, guys, uh, if you want to give me your Apple watches, I'm up for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I actually won this Apple Watch that I listen to my shows on from a podcast convention that I was doing press for. Wow. So, see how it all works? You know, I go, you know, a little karma there. I do a little press coverage, give them some promotion. They give me a watch, and now I can listen to my show. <laughs> Boy, what can people think of next? And of course, what's up next for the Pipe Man? We'll talk about that very quickly. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, along with Amazon, Audible, Apple, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Tuned in and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the pipe man, Dean Piper, here on the Mike Widener Show, king of all festivals and king of all radio stations and um, internet stations as well, too. Not just um, the stations we mentioned, the adventures of Pipe Man, Pipe Man, the Pit, Pipe Man's Power of Music, Positively Pipe Man, and the Power of Pipe Man. And yeah. <laughs> And I think I just got through all that. And and what do you got uh, coming up for us in 2021 and beyond in your ever-expanding network, Dean? Well, first thing I'm going to do that I recommend everybody watching this does is as soon as I get off of here, I'm going to go subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show everywhere. You got my thumbs up, as Evil and Cisco do back in the day. It's like, you hear something that tickles your ears? It's double thumbs up. And I'm sure e- Ebert and Cisco are doing it right now upstairs, y'all. Mike Wagner show, two thumbs up. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So, yeah, that's the first thing I'm going to do. But I have a lot of things that, you know, this whole pandemic, you could look at it a couple of ways. The way I look at it is it gave me some downtime to do some creative things that I've been planning on doing that we don't really have time to do. So I've created some new things. We're, we're launching a whole TV network uh, very sh- uh, shortly. Uh, we already have a TV station, but now we're going to launch a TV network where people can bring their content to us. Uh, we have a major virtual conference that's going to be going on in March that is going to be like nothing that's ever been seen before. Uh, it's going to be all virtual, but it's going to be as if you were there, but we're going to combine many different worlds that I'm in. We're going to combine my motivational world, my radio world, my music world, and my health and wellness world, as well as horror, pop culture, you know, basically every world that I'm involved in, in one place. And most, most places don't do that. Uh, And then of course, 
you know, we're hoping things like start to open up. I mean, I'm already promoting a festival uh, called Aftershock that's uh, going on in 2021. It was supposed to be in October 2020. Of course, we didn't have it, but they just announced the lineup uh, and we're promoting it where, you know, Metallica is going to play two nights, two different sets. Uh, and there's, there's just so, a lineup that's absolutely incredible. And we'll be doing free ticket giveaways. We do that on the station. Uh, and we just have a lot more expansion things we got and we have some things we're working on with new tv and radio station having specifically to do with music and music artists uh having their own shows on there so there's a lot of things going on we're always expanding always growing and you know i see the pandemic as an opportunity an opportunity to incorporate what we had and add some things new and go to a much better place the way i look at it is Hey, the 1918 pandemic right after that was the roaring 20s. So look ahead. It's quite bright out there. Yes, definitely so. And I'm getting my sunglasses custom more just for that. And uh, I'm going to say, make sure sunglasses are coming. So <laughs> I'm just talking about the podcast. There you go. <laughs> All the future's so bright, you got to wear shades. I got to tell you that. So <laughs> There you go. Absolutely. I'll tell you one thing. After talking to you, Dean, I feel so motivated. And of course, you know, people come to you for motivational speaking. And then um, and, and, and how, how, how do they uh, come to you for motivational speaking and for um, all your services and whatever else? And how do people get in touch? Okay. So basically, I mean, as far as a motivational speaker, I've shared the stage with people like Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Tom Hopkins, Mark Victor Hansen, Jack Canfield, Les Brown, John Gray, Barbara DeAngelis, just a name, do a little name drop in there, uh, you know, and basically people come to me because they want to change their life, but I don't change their life, they change their life. You know, as is said by Tony Robbins, there is no such thing as being motivating somebody, it's all self-motivation, but you give them the tools. You know, and you give them the mindset. I'm big about mindset. It's not what happens to you, it's what you do with it. There's a motivational speaker, his name is W. Mitchell. Uh, and I recommend people look him up. He is 90% burned, burned from one accident and quadriplegic from another. And that's what he says. It's not what happens to you, it's what you do with it. You know, we sit here during these times and we think about all the things we can't do. Here's a, here's a person that can't do a lot by our standards and his, his attitude is, hey, before those accidents, there were 10,000 things I can do. Now there's 9,000. I focus on the 9,000, not the 1,000 I can't do anymore. And you look at that always in history. It's the people that have gone through the biggest tragedy and the biggest downs that have come through it and are the most positive people and, and, and appreciate life the most. And, you know, let, what this pandemic does say is life is short. Live it to the fullest, enjoy it. Stop worrying about the little things, you know, and just make it, you know, make whatever you want your life to be to happen. That's what happened to me, okay? I am finally doing what I'm meant to do and what I want to do. And because it's a passion, not for anybody else, not for money, not for, it's the passion. And when you do that, everything else falls into place. And, you know, it doesn't hurt if they go out and buy my book. Who said life doesn't come with an owner's manual? <laughs> Get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or any of those places. And, uh, you know, that could help too. It's, it's uh, my second favorite book in the world. Because uh, my first favorite is Og Mandino's The Greatest Salesman in the World. And I just want to let everybody know that. That'll change your life. It changed mine and uh, it, it changed many. And as far as getting a hold of me, like I said, Pipe Man Radio everywhere. You know, uh, any social media, I'm on, uh, like, I don't know, I'm everywhere. I'm on multiple Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Snapchat, uh, Pinterest, you know, you name it, I'm there. I think I still even have a MySpace account. I've, I haven't been on it, but, you know, if you want to go check it out, I'm probably still there. Wow. <laughs> MySpace, oh, my gosh, that's what, like? So 2000, 2005, I think I have some old pictures on there. Oh my gosh. And I go on there, I'll be like, ah, it's just, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no wonder. Um, oh, I, I'm trying to think who, who was it? Who was it? One guy, um, was it Mark Wahlberg? It's like, you know, I can see why he bought it. It's like, just you know, like, 
<laughs> and I'm surprised really nobody brought it back. You know, now that there's all this social media, you could, you know, somebody could come in with some fresh ideas and like, it's MySpace 2.0 or something like that. <laughs> MySpace 2.0, next thing you know, you have a Facebook 2.0, Instagram 2.0, or LinkedIn 2.0, or um, yeah, TikTok 2.0, or, you know, just say Radio 3.0, Internet Radio 3.1, or say with um, you know podcasting, say three point two, so or or maybe just like was it uh, a pie radio? Was it three point one six or something like that? So yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, and so yeah, and my uh, shows like you mentioned a lot of some, uh, summer segments of the show, like the Adventures of Pipe Man is my main show, and it's really kind of a place where you know who knows and anything goes. It's a combination of all my personalities, and yes, I, I have many of them. Um, some call it a sickness, I call it a blessing. It gives me uh, a radio personality, you know? Uh, and then like Pipe Man in the Pit is a bunch of my music interviews, you know, that I'm doing at these festivals and at these concerts and phoners, and same with Pipe Man's Power Music. Positively, Pipe Man is my motivational stuff, but it's also interviewing other business people in all different topics, all types of business and, you know, information and, you know, stuff like that. So you get a little bit of everything with me. Uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, some people have said it's kind of like where Tony Robbins meets Howard Stern. <laughs> and, and don't forget Robin Quivers has to be his wife or somebody. So you got to put in Robin Quivers somehow to make it more interesting. <laughs> oh, I have, I have my own Robin Quivers on my show. Oh, yeah. that's fascinating. It's like, I, we, we got to have them on one day too. So <laughs> there you go. Exactly. We're here with the pipe man, Dean Piper here on the Mike Wagner show. A very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Dean? We have a couple of minutes here. Uh, you know, it's tough to pick just one, but I will actually say if I was going to pick one, it would be my father who's not with us anymore, but my father, you know, he was one of the greatest salespeople ever. And he, taught me business and marketing and sales from the time I was like 11 years old. Uh, and he also taught me, you know, that light, nobody's going to give you anything. You go out there and get it. You seize these opportunities. And, you know, he taught me to like, you reap what you sow, you know, and he, he taught me my work ethic and he taught me, you know, my unstoppable, uh, persevering, persistent, ambitious, driven, hungry, mindset and attitude towards going things and you know i took everything that was good from them and disregarded all that was bad like most people should you know we, we can learn from everybody mm -hmm. no matter who they are you know and, and even if there's good things even if there's bad things we learn from all of them mm -hmm. and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point dean get out of your own way you know we're our worst enemy okay stuff's gonna happen in life you can't control that, but you can control how you react to it. You can control what you do with it. You know, again, I'll go back to we're in a pandemic right now. There's people that are suffering. It's, it's terrible. But there's also people that can see the forest through the tree, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what you focus on, the forest through the tree. We will get through this, you know, and I will say something that think about it in your life. When things happen in our lives, they seem to happen forever while we're going through them. And then when we look back on them, they're just a little blip in our life. So, you know, as hard as things may be now, three years from now, we could be looking back and like, wow, can't believe, you know. And as you know, the older we get, the, the faster time moves. Like it kind of blows my mind, you know, like it was just yesterday I turned 24. And now a couple of days ago, I turned 54. It's ridiculous. <laughs> It, it, it's just like, you know, with uh, my marriage, you know, married to my lovely wife, Serena, June 1991, I tell everybody, you know, getting close to 30 years, I said, it feels like we just got married yesterday. <laughs> I know, right? It, you know, what's funny about that is my, uh, my kid's mom, uh, she, I met her in June of 90. And then, so, you know, we're kind of on this same wavelength there except i'm not with her anymore so congrats to you <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much and the one thing i can say is that oh 
boy, time flies when you have too much fun with everything, everything you do, and passion and all that. Once again, the Pipe Man, Dean Piper, here on the Mike Wagner Show. A very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. We need to do this again very soon, Dean. And sure. before we go here, once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people uh, check out all your, good, all your wonderful works? Okay, so basically, uh, you can check our radio stations. Uh, you can either go to the websites for the radio stations or download the apps. Uh, it's w4cy.com, w4wn.com, w4hc.com, k4hd.com, w4cs.com. Talk4media.com is our main corporate site, uh, and it just basically lists everything that we have. But if you want to check out our content, you go there. And then, of course, you're gonna to wanna to search for Pipe Band Radio everywhere. You'll find my show, uh, my show not only on my station, but you'll find it on iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, Amazon Music, and about 100 others. So anywhere you listen to podcasts, just looking for, look for the adventures of Pipe Man, Pipe Man the Pit, Positively Pipe Man, and, and Pipe Man Radio. And then of course, on social media everywhere, it's Pipe Man Radio. Uh, and then you can always feel free to e email me, dean at talkformedia.com. Uh, you can call me, 561-506-4031. And, uh, you know, or if you go onto one of our websites, you fill out, you can fill out a form on there, or you can just listen to the station, or we also do lots of prizes, giveaways, contests. You know, like I said, right now, we're doing giveaways for Aftershock, uh, Aftershock concert, and we got a lot more coming up. So definitely subscribe to us. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Talk4TV. That's T-A-L-K, the number four TV. And that's where you'll catch our TV shows, including the Jimmy Starr Show, who uh, is one of our longest running shows on the network and uh, was just ranked as the number one show podcast in the world. Uh, and then my show, The Adventures of Pipe Man, was ranked as number five. So. A, a very good company, according to the uh, New York and um, LA Times Weekly. It's like number one, number five. And, um, you know, you guys even beat out, um, what, Elvis Duran, Joe Rogan, and all that. And, um, you know, when I looked at that list, I went, I'm on there at number 40. I went, this is great company that we're all in. I mean, we're just so thankful to be doing what we're doing. It's just absolutely great <laughs> we're all in it together and everybody needs to remember that forget all this division we're united together no matter who we are what we are what we do we're all one race the human race and we're all one business in the radio business and you know if we just all band together we can conquer anything that's right we are just like this once again the pipe man dean piper here on the mike wagner show a very big thank you for your time you've been absolutely great learned a lot from you we gotta do this again soon and looking forward to chatting again do us a favor keep yourself to date love you back on in 2021 and beyond and um you know you can come by as often as you like just drop me an email and um let's do it again real soon dean you've been absolutely fantastic you got it and we'll have you on my show too